Hey everybody, we've been working on some workflow improvements, and I wanted to show you a couple of those features. This first one is something that I really love. I've created a new document here, you can see the empty slot, and of course I can drag nodes in from the node panel in the usual way, but now there's a new way to add nodes to the document. I can actually just click this empty text here, begin typing the node I want, let's say I want to insert a cells node, and you can see that as I type, it auto fills in the rest of the node name. And when I hit enter, it sticks the node in there. And if I want to change what node is there, I can just click the name again, start typing something else, and that node will go there. If I want to insert a node below this node, I can click this bump here and start typing there instead. Let me insert a colorized node. And I can even change this node here. Let's say I want to make that a Gaussian blur. I can also click at some arbitrary location and just insert a disconnected node. Here I can create a combine. Then I can even drag them together as usual. Now, of course, this feature is intended for more experienced Genetica users who already know the names of the nodes. But once you learn those names, I can tell you I've been using this for a little while and it basically tripled the speed with which I could lay down nodes overnight. The second change I wanted to show you has to do more with people who drag nodes in from the library panel. Right now we're looking at the currently released version of Genetica. And if I insert the cells node, you see that goes right in. But if then I try to drop a colorized node over it, it asks you, do you want to replace the node or do you want to insert it below? I'll select that, and if I want to blur it, I can drop it there, and again, it gives you all these options, which kind of slows you down a little bit, and then you can select the one you want. So here I've switched to the work in progress version of Genetica, where we're experimenting with a slightly different way of doing it. Again, I'll drag a cells node in, but now if I drag in a colorized node, there won't be any intermediate menu interrupting you, asking you what you want to do. Instead, there are just more options where you can drop the node and it will detect what you want to do based on where you drop it. You can see here that this outline will snap here or it can snap below it. If I drop it there, it will replace the node. Let me click undo. Or if I want to insert it below, all I have to do is drop it below. And again with the Gaussian blur, I can drop it here if I want to replace that colorize. Let me click undo. Or if I want to insert it below, all I have to do is drop it there. And it's a little bit slicker, a little bit faster. It interrupts you less.